all signs point to a brand new map arriving in season 20 of apex legends along with well the 20th season itself and of course the anniversary of apex legends all throughout february first if you enjoyed the channel how about taking the time right now to like this video if you're new smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that i drop a new video do it do it the next major update for apex legends drops in season 20 which is roughly three weeks away with 21 days remaining here in season 19 and honestly that narrows it down to how much we can expect for the remainder of the season however with that being said we have been hearing a lot of discussion about the upcoming season and we didn't get a brand new map at the end of the year which is very interesting however new teasers have popped up suggesting that there is in fact a new map in the works and we could be seeing it as soon as season 20. now the chances are we will be getting a new map as all the information does seem to more or less point to us getting a brand new map in season 20 and all of the leaks have also more or less kind of confirmed that we would be getting a brand new map right around now for the anniversary and 20th season of apex legends kind of a double move if you will however we got a brand new teaser that was shown off with the release of the most recent patch and again it seems that we're looking at getting a brand new map in season 20 which i think a lot of people will be excited for especially if it knocks broken moon out of the rotation now the best guess we have is in fact looking at some of the leaked footage from yesteryear where we more or less got a look at a CTF variant that I would call Uplink from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. If you played it, you know what I'm talking about. You know why I call this Uplink. However, this game mode still hasn't made it to the game, nor have we seen this particular map added to the game. And the, the fact that we've seen a ton of different, at least discussion from the developers about Titanfall maps being added into Apex Legends it wouldn't surprise me if we get a much more Titanfall themed map in season 20. And of course, the fact that we've already got some connections to Titanfall 2 in terms of the world that's being talked about and that type of thing, it's very likely that we'll have some more Titanfall inspired cosmetics and aesthetics, if you will, for the upcoming map. And I think people that are in the Titanfall fandom will actually appreciate that quite a bit. Now, obviously, over the past few years, there have been less and less overall Titanfall fans. And just in general, the Titanfall product was not the most popular of FPS games to be released. So there's a lot of the community that's joining Apex Legends that really has no idea about the storyline for the game that they're playing which is somewhat unfortunate, but the fact remains that the gameplay in Apex has always been more compelling than even the storyline, which at times has been a little bit disjointed and hard to tell exactly what is going on. However, we have started to see the stories getting wrapped up a little bit with somewhat of a conclusion to the Loba and Revenant storyline that we've been seeing since season three. And I think a lot of people are happy about that one in general. So at least we've opened up the possibility for some new stories to be added into the game. Now, another good point is that we've also heard them say things like melee will not work in Apex Legends and it's not going to be added in the game. And then the Buster Sword was added in the game, which is interesting in itself. But hey. There's something new and a little bit of progression with the developer mentality. And on top of that, we actually got some fairly interesting news regarding a two seat trident being added to Apex Legends as well, which most likely would be for the upcoming new map. Why it's a two seater, I don't really know what the point of a two seat trident would actually be. And, uh, you know, the meaning behind it so it's very possible that it could be for a limited time mode and not actually for the upcoming map so 
take everything with a grain of salt because obviously it's a very real possibility that any given item does or doesn't make it in the game. I mean, the fact is we saw the UFO that's on Olympus get released for Kings Canyon in all the leaks. But when it came to the actual game release, it was a brand new POI on Olympus and not this random UFO hovering around on Kings Canyon. So, I mean, you got to take everything with a grain of salt. We've even heard them say Caustic's going to get a buff. And then they were like, oh, yeah, maybe, you know what? Maybe we're wrong. Caustic's not getting a buff. It's, this was a time when the community was already complaining about Caustic being overpowered. So... There is some very real possibilities that the stuff we're looking at doesn't make it into the game. And the fact that we still have quite a bit of heirlooms to talk about. And we just got Crypto's heirloom recolor revealed to us. It's a distinct possibility that some interesting stuff happens over the next few seasons. But a brand new map does seem to be on the horizon, no pun intended. And I do think a lot of people are going to prefer this map potentially to what we've been seeing for the last few releases as I honestly don't like Stormpoint and I don't like Broken Wing all that much either. And you know, you may or may not like them yourself, but I'd love to hear what you have to say anyway. So leave a comment down below and let me know your opinion on the upcoming map. What kind of map would you like to see? Would you like to see something that's really a woodsland kind of area or would you like to see something that's a real urban cityscape even more so than olympus or would you like to see some kind of mixture of them all like you get in king's canyon let me know in the comment section down below and of course guys if you want to continue this conversation or hey maybe you just want to start a brand new conversation and I highly suggest you check out the social media links, which are on the screen, as well as in the description down below. Give them a like, a favor to follow, whatever you haven't done already, and it'll help the channel out absolutely massively as we make our way into a brand new season of Apex Legends with hopefully a ton of new content to add to the game and make it a little bit more fun than it's been for at least a couple seasons. But yeah, that about wraps it up here, guys. We've got a lot of stuff coming in the near future, so hopefully you're prepared for that. But until then, I'll leave you with this video right here that you can check out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to enjoy any of the brand new maps if you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.